did you know that you can buy a power bank that charges itself? A building that's actually alive, or a worm that could save the planet? Welcome to 21 heavenly inventions that will restore your faith in humanity. From divine, to glorious, to godly. Now, one of humanity's key crimes to this planet is how we've littered plastic everywhere. This is a brand new cloud as well. However, there's a company called Reprieve who is collecting that plastic and using it to make clothes. Like this. This jacket right here is 30 recycled plastic bottles. And if you go to their website, you can actually see the live counter of how many they've taken out of seas and landfill. They've just passed 30 billion. So I'm gonna give Reprieve a Two out of 10. Blissful invention, don't get me wrong. It's just things are about to get much cooler. Put this back in my cloud storage. Because it's not just water bottles. One of our main contributors to plastic waste actually comes from toiletries. Every single bottle of shampoo or body wash that you buy has its own separate plastic packaging. It's not mine, I promise. But thanks to a German product designer, Jonna Breitenhuber, there is not a chance I pronounced that correctly, we are getting the soap bottle. Packaging that can store liquid personal care products, but the minute they're finished can be used for soap. It's one of those ideas that would never randomly occur to you, but as soon as you see it, it just makes sense. And not gonna lie, I think they look gorgeous too. Three out of 10. So I got a box from Xiaomi the other day, but what's really interesting about it is not actually what's inside, more what it came in. This packaging has a very unusual, almost like spongy texture to it. And after looking into it, I realized that's because this box is made of mushrooms. You can get literal factories now that stick fungus sprouts into a mold and then just leave them and allow them to grow into the shape of that mold. It's so nature friendly that I can just yeet the box into the ground and it will break down and feed everything around it. Four out of 10, joyously simple. Did you know that a French company called New Wind has started building wind trees, where each leaf is a blade that generates electricity using the air? And while I would say that wind isn't the most reliable energy source, I think structures like this are the way to go. You just build them once and you have a permanent tourist attraction that can also generate electricity continuously and silently. I tried to climb the tree, I promise. Now, number 17 is a piece that was recently on display at the London Design Festival, and for good reason. I'm talking about a living chandelier, which instead of glass or crystal, is primarily surrounded by lab-created leaves that contain actual living algae. The benefit being that it still lights your room using a bulb on the inside, like a normal chandelier, but then that bulb also doubles as a source of light for the algae, which can then photosynthesize, take in carbon dioxide from the room, and purify the air. Four out of 10. But you can take this to the next level. There is already a company called Arup who's making algae powered buildings. I can't stress how cool this is. These buildings are surrounded by large panels filled with algae that are not just purifying the air around them, but are also using sunlight to generate the energy that's then harnessed to power the building. And on top of that, once the algae is fully grown, it can then be taken out and used as fertilizer. I've got to give this a five out of 10. These plants are literally God's gift to mankind. Right, so here in the UK, one of the ways that the government has tried to reduce our impact on the planet is by getting rid of single use plastic straws. And while I do think that the idea is right, plastic straws regularly end up in beaches, in seas, and uh, unfortunately in animals. The alternative straw solutions kind of suck. Or should I say, don't suck. If you go anywhere now and order a soft drink, you will get a paper straw. And you're basically at this continuous race to finish before it gets soaked and then starts to go floppy. But this right here is a foldable, reusable straw. So you drink with it, just like you would normally, but then when you're done, you can unfold it, give it a wipe, and then store it to be used again and again and again. And the material is coated in such a way that it's naturally antibacterial. Now, one of the biggest trends of the entire 21st century is the shift to vegan foods. It can be better for the health, whilst at the same time only causing about half the carbon emissions. So for a lot of people, it's just like, well, why wouldn't I? Bacon. Bacon has been a pretty strong reason to not for many years until now, where thanks to the whole load of proteins that we've managed to extract from all sorts of vegetables and crops, the production of bacon has become possible. Apparently this is gonna taste just like the real thing. 
We'll do a taste test when it's fully cooked. It smells amazing though. And related to bacon, you know what leather is, right? This premium material taken from a cow. But have you ever wondered, what on earth is this vegan leather that we keep hearing about? It's actually kind of genius. There's a company called Piñatex who gather the leaves of pineapples, which are usually just a waste product not needed by any other industry, extract the fibers from them, and then mix them with corn. And they end up with a material that bears striking resemblance to the real thing. And it's even better because it's not just that you're saving the animals, but it's also that if those pineapple leaves weren't used, then they would have instead been burned, which is even more damage to the environment that we're now saving ourselves from. Six out of 10, it really does give you hope. Most people don't realize this, but every single time we take a shower, we're using on average 2.5 gallons of water per minute. For some perspective, that means that if you treated yourself to a nice relaxing 25 minute shower, that's the equivalent of 1,000 glasses of hot water literally down the drain. Just try to imagine a thousand glasses in the room you're in right now. More than likely, it would fill up every inch of space you have. The general advice from governments is to, well, just cut your shower time by three minutes versus your normal, but there might be a better way. Thanks to a company called Nebia, you can buy a shower head that atomizes water into millions of micro droplets. That might sound like it would be really unsatisfying, but the shower head has an extremely high internal pressure, which means that these micro droplets are actually being pushed out three times faster than a normal shower pushes out water, thus making less water actually have more washing power. Six out of 10. I'm feeling wet just thinking about it. Okay, this next one. It's not a typo, it's an unexpectedly brilliant concept. So, there are two current issues. One, around 35% of the trees that are being cut around the world right now are being done just to fuel the paper industry. And two, elephants are regularly being hunted and shot just for their tusks. Poo paper by a company called Elicozy solves both of these problems. They figured out that by collecting elephant dung, boiling it, turning it into a pulp, and then leaving it out to dry, they can form paper. Paper that doesn't require a single tree to be cut, paper that makes elephants monetizable, therefore reducing the incentive to kill them, and paper for which profits are then handed to shelters that take in and then look after the animals. Probably the least poo idea I've ever heard, but I will be double checking each letter I receive from now on. Okay, top 10. We are in heavenly territory now. Come on. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> this is all flammable. We've all seen power banks, batteries to top up your gadgets on the go. You've never seen a power bank like Shine. It's a bit of a unit for sure, but the reason is that this power bank contains its own wind turbine to generate its own electricity. So you charge as many devices as you want to, and it can refill itself on its own 24 hours a day. Six out of 10. And hey, if you feel like shining, then a sub to the channel would be angelic. Everyone loves a barbecue. Hot summer's day, sitting outside, taking in those smoky fumes. But barbecues, because they're uncovered, are hyper inefficient. Most of the energy from the coal you're burning isn't actually going into heating your food, it's just reducing air quality. The Go Sun Fusion though is a fascinating alternative. It still cooks your food, but instead of being open topped, it does so in a completely watertight, vacuum sealed chamber, which means that all the energy you put in is going straight into your food. It is five times more energy efficient, but that's not even the best bit. Because thanks to its reflectors that triple the amount of light captured, the fusion can also cook using just the power of the sun. Tell me that's not a bright idea. But it's one thing to have a cooker that can sustain itself. What about an entire home? This is the Eco Capsule. It's one of the cheapest houses you could buy in most countries at just 50,000 euros. And yet it's got enough space for two people and the interior of a simple hotel. This thing creates its own electricity using a combination of a wind turbine up top and a roof that is lined with solar panels. Plus, it automatically gathers and filters water from every single time it rains. Oh yeah, and maybe the coolest thing, because your entire home is built as a single complete unit, you can control the whole thing with just one app, which I think moves this to seven out of 10 territory. Okay, our bacon is done. Uh, the reason we waited for it, by the way, is because I wanted to eat it on number seven. 
a very special plate. This is made by a company called Biotren, who are basically trying to replace every single bit of plastic tableware that you would otherwise throw away after using once with their alternatives, which are made from wheat bran. And there's no real downside. Biotrem plates are really strong. They're non-porous, so you can eat wet foods on them. You can even put them in the oven. But what moves this from good to god tier is that they're not only eight times less polluting than a plastic plate to produce, but also that instead of filling up a landfill site when done, you can eat them. <laughs> All right, so let's get the fake on there. Three, two, one. Mmm, mmm. That bacon is amazing. It's really smoky and greasy and meaty, just like bacon. The, the plate less so. It's still the tastiest plate I've ever had. But I think number six is even greater. Air ink, which is such a gloriously simple concept that I could explain the whole thing in three short sentences. Air pollution is a big problem in a lot of cities. This company invented a device to capture that air pollution. They've then turned that pollution into ink, which sits inside actual pens that you can buy. Eight out of 10. Pretty ink incredible. Now, we've seen lots of green initiatives over the last few decades. People saying we should stop flying in planes. People saying we should completely abandon meat. And while these messages might come from a good place, I think the main reason that they haven't stuck is that they require people to drastically change their behavior, which most aren't going to do. I think that the most viable technologies are the ones that can make the best out of our existing behaviors, like PaveGen. PaveGen have designed basically high-tech tiles that you can line your floors with, and then when people step on those tiles, it converts the kinetic energy from the pressure they've applied into electricity. This tech has already been used many times. For example, there was a nightclub in London where people's dance moves alone were powering 60% of the venue. Eight out of 10. We all love a two-in-one, one solution that fixes two problems. And Plastic Road is maybe my favorite example of it. See, when it comes to protecting our planet, plastic is annoyingly durable. It can take 500 years for this stuff to break down naturally. But if you think about it, there are times when that kind of durability is actually pretty great like roads. So Plastic Road is using recycled plastic as a key material to make roads. They're more durable, they need less maintenance, they don't get flooded thanks to the ability to store water inside of them, and they save up to 72% of emissions from the simple fact that they're built using materials that have already been made. Okay, these top three though, I think have a good chance of completely changing our world. For starters, mealworms. See, the reason that there are so many initiatives created to tackle the plastic problem is because plastic is non-biodegradable. Or in other words, every single piece of plastic that's produced is another piece of plastic that's going to sit somewhere and take up our already limited space. Or get burned, but that's probably even worse for the environment. However, these little troopers might be turning that entire notion on its head because they can digest it. It's looking like one of the natural enzymes produced by these mealworms has the ability to break plastic down. In the same way that you probably have lactase enzymes, which help you to break down and digest milk. So if we can find a way to extract that enzyme and mass produce it, we could potentially solve the entire world's plastic problem in a few months. Nine out of 10. Now, what's the one trusty classic planet saving technique that we all know about? Planting trees. Trees take in carbon dioxide, trees release oxygen, trees stabilize soil, trees are a habitat for hundreds of thousands of animal species. You get the idea. But if you wanted to plant trees to match the pace of how quickly humanity is taking them down, you'd need to hire an entire army full time to do so. Unless you use technology. Introducing the Flash Forest Company, who are utilizing drones that can fly above the ground, use topography to identify the healthiest sites to plant trees, drop those seeds with the required nutrients they need, water them, and then even come back later to check up on them. They're basically high-tech parents, but parents who are extremely efficient, because just one of these drones can plant 20,000 trees per day. That's basically an entire forest at a price of just 50 cents per tree. And just before number one, quick reminder that I do have a whole series of invention videos. I think they're some of my favorite videos on this channel, so I will leave them linked after this one.
Okay, so you know that solar panels are a huge part of our move to a sustainable planet. They're the most elegant way to harness the free energy that the sun gives us. But so far they've pretty much been relegated to the rooftops of buildings in some countries that get a particularly large amount of sun. They're not widespread enough yet to make a drastic difference. Well, the holy grail of solar technology is now in motion. Transparent solar. This has been a theoretical concept for a long time now. If we can figure out how to make every sheet of glass, every window, every car, every building made to also be able to generate electricity, we would, we'd become so self-sufficient we would pretty much rocket forward an entire stage in society. But the challenge has always been, if we're absorbing this light to then convert it to electricity, then we're not letting that light through. And so these aren't really windows. This is where things get clever. Remember, light is a spectrum, and there's only certain wavelengths in that spectrum that we can actually see. So, what if we could have panels that let in all the light within the human spectrum, but absorbed and converted to energy all the light that lies outside of that spectrum? This is becoming possible through the use of clear organic salts that can harness that light. And with this technology, we've already reached up to 50% of the electricity generating capacity of our current opaque cells. Lots to look forward to. He literally comes the second we stop recording. You're a little. Do you want to know what I've been drinking under the table while filming this video? This is Huel Black Edition. It kind of tastes like a light chocolate milkshake, but it has literally every single nutrient you could possibly need. I'm not even exaggerating. This isn't made of ice cream or sugar. It's tapioca, coconut, peas, rice, flaxseed, and sunflower seeds. And all the sweetness is completely natural. It's mainly stevia and coconut sugar. So for me, Huel is three things. It's super convenient. It's a full meal with literally 60 seconds of prep. It's the one food that's always there. Each bag is literally good to eat up to a year after you get it. And three is this reassurance that I'm being looked after. There's 27 vitamins and minerals, there's 40 grams of protein per serving, slow release carbs. This is a really carefully crafted formula. So if you hit the link in the description and give Huel a shot, you will also get a free shaker and a Huel t-shirt. Trust me when I say best fitting t-shirts I own. To check out the last inventions episode, that video is there. Or for 21 toxic tech fails, that's over here. My name is Aaron, this is Mr. Who's the Boss, and I'll catch you in the next one.